Today's daily dose of math is an example of the median median method for finding the equation of the regression line from the points in a table of values that goes with the scatter plot. The first step is to make sure that the points in the table are arranged in increasing order of x. Then we divide the table into three smaller tables, making the smaller tables as close to the same size as possible. In this case, because there were 11 points, we ended up with two tables with four points and one table with three. And we have to follow the rule that the different size table has to be in the middle. Once we've done that, we find the median of the x's and the median of the y's for each of the tables. So we're finding six medians. When there are an even number of points in the table, finding the median of the x's and of the y's will involve finding the average of the two middle values. This is straightforward with the x values, but with the y coordinates, we have to make sure that they are in increasing order. And if they're not, we have to reorder them before we find the median. Once we find our medians, we arrange them into points m1, m2, and m3. So the median of the x's and the median of the y's are the x and y coordinates of point m1 with this first table. The second and third tables work the same way. But notice the second table in this case has an odd number of points. So finding the median is a little faster and more straightforward. You just find the middle value. But again, you have to make sure your y coordinates are in increasing order before you do that. Once we have our points m1, m2, and m3, we are ready to derive the equation of the regression line. The first step will be to use the slope formula. What points do we use in the slope formula? We use m1 and m3 for that. This time we got a slope of 19 over 50. Then we have to take that slope and plug it into the y equals ax plus b straight line form, along with a point. What point do we use to do this? We find the average of the x values in points m1, m2, and m3, and the average of those, the mean of those, is the x-coordinate of our point p. We do the same thing with the y-coordinates to find the y-coordinate of point p. This results this time in a point p of 52, 21. We plug that point and the slope we found, the 19 over 50, into the y equals ax plus b form, and we solve for b. Our y-intercept, b, will be 31 over 25. The last thing we have to do is arrange that y-intercept and the slope into the y equals ax plus b form so that we can give a regression equation, our final answer. That is today's daily dose of math. Please like, subscribe, and share.